Hello Pisces, good morning. I want to say I want to apologize for not doing my reading last night. I don't never, ever, ever since I've had my YouTube miss a reading. Um, and um, I sincerely apologize. I've had everyone texting me and worrying about me. But I want to say something to y'all. Um, I've been through a lot because um, I've been having this death thing around me, and I've been saying that for a long time. Um, I just want y'all to know that um, I don't know the gift that I have that God has given me. And I didn't know how very special I was. Um, and I've always put myself before I put y'all, always, to tell y'all um, about things that sometimes we can't accept, whether it is a death relationship or problems that we come through. I also tell y'all to please disconnect from all the YouTubes and social medias that sometimes we dick, uh, put our head into and wrap our head into so much things that we listen to people tell us that are going in our lives. Um, sometimes it can be overwhelming and it's too much on top of how you feel about what you going through. Um, but I want y'all to know that um, life is beautiful. And every day is some type of miracle that happens to you. Every day. Just waking up it is. But every day is a miracle around you. For you. And I, I went through so much in the last couple weeks. Of this death around me, death around me, death around me. But I want to tell you something. I went through a lot. And um, I have done readings and people, cards come out, death. And I tell them it's the hardest thing for me to say. But after I deliver a news like that, I can't even go on with the reading. Because it bothers me so bad. But I have never in my life experienced what I have experienced this time around. And it wasn't through a reading. It was through a Pisces that had passed over. I maybe not even known this person. I never met her. It is devastating to me how this spirit stayed around me the whole time. Never met her. Never knew who she was. Never even seen her face. Never did a reading for her. But someone reached out to me. And told me that they had not heard from their child for weeks. It's so crazy how I went to see my mother. And as I went to see my mother, <clears throat> she said, come see me this day. I was so sick. I had such a weight on me. I couldn't shake this weight off. But when I got to see my mother, I got out the car, the phone rung, and I never pick up the phone when I go see my mother, but I did this time. 
And the phone call was from a Pisces that says, I'm missing my child. And I'm not lying to you. When I sat down on that bench and I looked up at my mother, something came over me. And it was the biggest, 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 biggest hug. Soon as I got to the cemetery, I said, I'm here. Can you please? I'm here. And I know that every soul is here that's passing over. Can you please take me in your wings? And take whatever it is. Lift it or tell me what I need to do. Because I tell you no lie, I thought I was dying. I thought these was my days. I kept saying it. So I went to see my mother. So at least in person, I could have said, I see you now. We meet. When I got there, on top of these wings that were coming around me, I just knew I was going to die. Something came over me and lifted up. And it was a human spiritual being that stood in front of me and said, speak to my mother. I had this lady on the phone with me. God is my witness. This young lady told me to tell her mother that she had crossed over. To tell her mother how she passed away. To tell her mother where to find her and where her body was. And this young lady followed me for weeks. It was so weird. She also was a Pisces. Please, everyone, send her family prayers. Please. It's the most devastating news that I had to give. Very devastated. And that was the weight that I carried on me for all this time. It was her spirit calling me. And her mother made that phone call to me. And her daughter came to me when I was at my mother's grave site in the cemetery. It's so incredible. I couldn't believe it. But exactly what she said for me to tell her mother was exactly what she was at. It's so crazy. As you remember the full moon, the full moon, I went there, it was water on the rocks, and I kept saying, I see a man there fishing on the rocks with red and white, and has a light on his head, and I said, I wish I could take these rocks home. All along this lady. This young lady took me all the way to her death and where she was at. Unbelievable. I thank God for this gift. But it's the most unbelievable
unbelievable. For me to understand, I've always said since a child, I knew more about death than I knew about people. Because that's all I've seen around me. But to live a life that I live today, <clears throat> and to have this gift is the most precious gift that God could ever give me. And I'm going to say it again. The most precious gift that God could ever give me is that one. I will embrace my gifts. I will know now how to accept it and live with it. I went to the beach yesterday. <clears throat> I took two decks of cards. I took Art Michael and I took this deck of cards. And I was going to do a reading, but it won't let me. And these decks, of course, was surrounded around this water, salt. Um, when I went there, I sat there for a minute. And I went there early. I was there from 11 o'clock to damn near 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night. I seen the sun set and all. And when I got there, I had such a big knot on my stomach. On my stomach. Listen to me. On my stomach. You know how you eat something and don't sit in your stomach, right? You just feel it. You got to throw it up. I didn't know. I wasn't thinking about I ate something and I had to throw it. I just said walk to. Something said go to the water. I got up and I went to the water. I, I, I lay down, but that knot just was so hard on my stomach that I couldn't lay down. So I got up, walked towards the water, and when I got to the water, I started throwing up. And boy, did I start throwing up. On my way home, I was talking to a Pisces. They called me, hi, Lisa. How you doing this morning? My name is Lisa. And I said, Lisa, you're sitting here watching the sunset with me. And she said, it's beautiful. And I said, look how big that sun is. And she said, I said, I'm on my way home from the beach. And then I told her that I threw up all this. My stomach hurt and I threw all this stuff up in the water on the beach. I was in the water on the beach. On my way home, once I got home, I entered my door. The young lady's mother called me and told me that they had found her daughter exactly where she told me to tell her mother she was at. And that was crazy. And so... I didn't do my reading last night because with all of this that was going on, I took a shower and I went to sleep. I woke up this morning and here I am. It's amazing, right? First thing I want to say is thank you to Miss Renee. Miss Renee, this is just beautiful. When I got home, actually before I left to the beach, Miss Renee sent me this and it says, help you release, release. It says, it help you to release anger, resentment, and pain. Okay, 
let you embark on the path of your forgiveness. Isn't that amazing? I thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Renee. I thank you. Thank you. It's such a beautiful candle. And I'll tell you, it's amazing. Um, me and Miss Renee were born the same day. And it's kind of crazy how she, she oh, Miss Renee, and that's the charm here. Miss Renee, like I said, this was in front of my Buddha. I just thank you because I, you always feel that energy on me. Always. And it, I can't wait to we meet. I, oh my God. I cannot wait to we meet. I cannot wait to we meet. Thank you, Miss Renee. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. I love you. So I'm going to start this reading, and I'm sorry if I took this much time, but I'm going to start this reading. Um, I'm going to start it, and this is where it's going to be. I want to say thank you to each and every one. Thank you a million. I'm using the Arc Michaels deck of cards. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You got the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, Michael, tell me more about what I need to know. Tell me more about what I need to know, Art Michael. Tell me more about what I need to know. The next card you got balance, which is um, balance is tem temperance, which is Sagittarius, and you got the ten of wands. Area Sagittarius or Leo. This is the way the balancing shows on this card. And this is um, <coughs> the Ten of Wands. <coughs> then you got the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Give me one more, Spirit. Tell me one more. Give me one more, Spirit. And then you got the Eight. Oh, so you got Eight and Eight. Then you got the Eight of Pinnacles. Hmm. All right, so here you got a family, and then you opening your eyes to see what it was. Okay, so here. Here it shows a family giving birth, someone talking about what it was. Once upon a time, it was beautiful. Everything looked good. Um, I believe that somebody at this time was going to have a child. Probably did not have it. Uh, never made it to this world. Okay. Financially secure. Maybe this man, whoever you was with, <clears throat> was the breadwinner of the family then. Okay, inheriting or retirement. Maybe this person who you was with was the person that provide for this family. Peace and contentment in life, honoring your family's tradition and proud in your family's tree. 
passing on knowledge. Okay, I believe that this is the past that already happened. I believe that at, when, when you was with this family or you had this family in the past was a family that, um, and this is for certain people because it ain't for me. Okay, so I'm going to say it like this. It was a per it, it was a person that um husband did all everything um for this family and you was the home uh the mother that stayed home and took care of the family. Okay. Um I felt like you gave this man what is it? You gave this man everything you had to give. I feel like you gave this family everything it was to give. But I feel also like you went through a lot to gain it all. Um, now, this could have been someone that also um, lost a child um, with this. Chica, you better not be going out there. And I'm not playing. Go lay your ass down until I'm finished. Lay down. I'm not playing with you. You better lay down. <clears throat> I feel like this family had everything going on for them, but did not have love. All right? You can have everything, but if you ain't got love, you ain't got nothing. Because it's almost like you're being a slave to someone. All right? But I felt like you opened up your eyes to what it was. Like you... You see everything for what it really was, okay? I feel like, um, I just feel like whether you lived good or you was the one that took care of your family completely or Somebody here was the one that took care of the family and you was that stay in mama, okay? And you had to do everything somebody said to do because they was the caretaker and you went through hell with this person. And I'm going to say something, y'all. Sometimes when you have a person that gives you everything, everything in the world, all right, and you feel like you got to be quiet, keep your mouth shut because these people stop your growth because what they do is you sitting home, you ain't doing nothing while they bring the money in. So it's like you lose who you are for someone. And when you lose who you are, you not you don't go to work or you don't do nothing but sit in the house and take care of your kids. This man can do what the fuck he want to do or this woman can do what the fuck they want to do to you. Because they know that you depend on them. Okay? And so once you get out into the real world, because then you wake up and you say, that ain't what what what, what I signed up for. That because you see, the Ten of Pentacles is someone that you are very successful. You have everything to share with your work and you give all the love you can. It's a it's a, a car a spiritual, is a car of um, material abundance, is a car of wealth, a prosperity, building a legend, but you got the nine, the eight of swords, um, feeling like you entrapped, like you was trapped into this, like I'ma say it again, you can have somebody that gives you the world. Okay? And if you ain't smart enough, okay, you give up your life for these people and then you become part of their world because you don't even have a world. And that means they can do whatever they want to you, anything they want to you, and you sit there and you deal with this shit. Okay? And why do you deal with it? Because you've been so long having kids for these people, being a floor mat, being stuck, not having a career of your own, not working, 
okay? Living a, a life of luxury, but ain't nothing but hell, okay? And that's what some people literally, and that's how they live, okay? They live in chaos because they thought they married the right person. They met this person when they was young, when this person they have shit, and this person like, you stay home and you have my kids, and all they did was build chaos around you, all right? And I feel like when you look at the Ten of Cups next to the Eight of Swords, it ain't nothing but chaos around this, right? It's like you feel like you're entrapped. You're trapped in this situation, all right? A lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, and that's what I just said, right? Bringing, um, being afraid to take action. Somebody here is with a person that takes care of them or they feel like they can't leave this person because they feel like they trapped to this person. When it takes, it says take responsibility for your life now. You're not trapped in no one and I don't give a fuck who gives you the world? Okay? If you are in a relationship or you have lived with someone and I've been there before. Okay? But I always have my own. I always have my own. And if you walk out this room, you're going to get a pow pow. Get lay down. You better lay down, chica. I don't know what is her problem. She better lay down. Um, if you've been in a relationship, stay there. If you've been in a relationship that you have, even if um you started off with this person as, as young as you are, I don't know, when you was young and you married somebody, you knew this person all your life, or I don't know what it is. Or maybe you didn't know him all your life and you married somebody with money. All of a sudden, you sit in the house, this person saying, you sit in the house, I take care of you. You stop going to school. You stop doing what you did for your career. You became a, 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 a baby, a wife with having kids. All right? You lost your own identity because you don't even know who you are anymore. Because now you're dependent on someone else, okay, to do everything for you. And I'm going to say something. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. All right? Let's not do this shit. Now, if you're still in a relationship where you feel entrapped by a person because they taking care of you some type of way that you feel like you can't stop calling them or texting them even though you don't want to be with them. Okay, let's leave it like that. How about that? If you were somebody that pays to get your nails done, your hair done, or pay your phone bill, your electric bill, and that's all the fuck they do. They don't even live with your ass. Or they got another family. And you trapped in that shit. Okay, then I'm talking to you. All right? Now, you took the blindfolds off and you see it for what it is. Oh, I'm in trap with this shit. This motherfucker over here got a wife and he made sure he's taking care of her, paying all her bills. They live in this happy family. But here, I'm trapped to this motherfucker because I'm his side piece and he ain't doing shit for me. Okay? Or you could be the wife that has it all with this man, but trapped in there because now you ain't doing shit for your damn self. All right? You can be either living with a person, married to a person, or you can be somebody's sidekick that ain't got shit for you but chip chain and is feeding you breadcrumbs and you can't get out of this situation because you don't know how to. Now, I put it in different stages so it can match your ass one way or the other. You need to know it. All right? 
And I'm going to tell you something right now. I worked all my damn life. All my life. All right? And I still depended on whoever was with me. Whatever little shit they wanted to give me. Chip shit. But I depended on that. Okay? Until I woke the fuck up and said, this ain't nothing but a dollar bill to me because I can pay that by my motherfucking self. And I, what the fuck am I dealing with bullshit when I can do shit on my own? You wake up one day and you realize where the fuck I been. And if you married to a motherfucker that got this kind of money, you need to know, get the fuck away from that motherfucker because he got to give you money any damn way. If you're going through a divorce, he's going to give you money anyway. I don't give a fuck. What he going to do? You got kids, mom? You are entitled to whatever it is that you're going to get. Don't you ever be afraid of leaving these motherfuckers because they still got to pay you. They marry your fucking ass. You gave them your time. You gave them your energy. You bear their kids. You did it all. So you are deserving of whatever you're going to fight for and get. Now, if you are a side piece, okay, and this motherfucker is giving you fucking breadcrumbs, get the fuck out of that shit. Stop being stiff and still and stuck into a person that's giving you nothing but chick change. And is telling you, and you know how he's living with that woman. Get over it and move the fuck on. Alright? The second part of the card, which is the now. The now. It says, balancing your ideas with other and bring your ideas to the table with other okay so that you can be successful so and have the power of self control okay this is when everything start coming together for you right back together but remember one thing Everything may be coming together for you, right? But nothing is going to come together unless you start moving in the direction of wanting to do something for yourself. All right? Because nothing in the world is going to fall from the sky and say it's sitting on your lap. No, God says, I help those who help themselves. And if you're not moving on from a situation that does not deserve you or does not want no parts of you, then you being stuck. And when you move out of that shit and realize that everything you ever been through is how you see yourself. Where do you see yourself at? You know you are worth it because God don't make trash. Right? Now, you walk in the middle of the path, okay, and you nurture your spiritual wholesome. Okay, and this is what it's telling you, all right? You are the one. You're coming into this masculine balance, whether you're female or man, okay? You have that patience. You have to be prepared for what you're going to do. Sometimes, this comes in your life when you are, you know, you, you got to have everything put together to build something. If you feel like it's saying balance your life, it's saying something about two cups here, right? Now, this is Sagittarius, and this ain't got shit to do with two cups. But in this picture here, it's damn showing two cups. So it's, it's, it's about who you with. It's about how you balance and shit. All right? Now check it out. I just told you to leave shit alone, right? In the past. You probably walked away from it. You probably said I had enough of it. You probably know now how to deal with the situation. All right? Whether it's a divorce. Whether it's you separating from somebody. Whether it's from you walking away from somebody. You, right now, you are right where you need to be. 
dealing with a situation it because it was in your past. Things happen to you in your past that you know you got to leave alone. That it's not good for you. But you know you got to move away from it because you know that whatever it was, it wasn't right for you. Right? But then it comes to tell you, you walk in the middle of the past of nurturing your spiritual wholesome. And when you start knowing how to balance and what you want in life, then you get what you get. Okay? You got, it's like this. Nothing is going to happen for you for free. Nothing. You got to put in the work. Do you understand? You got to put in the work. All right? People say, well, that ain't me. Let me tell you something, Miss Princess. Okay, I don't give a fuck what you say. It ain't me, 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 all this dumb shit. It is fucking you. Because you're human just like I am. And if you wasn't human, you won't be fucking sitting here watching you too. You understand that shit? Don't be talking no bullshit. Oh, wait. Oh, I did not. Yes, you fucking did. Okay? And it is what it is. Get the fuck. Get going. What would you need to do? Because the next card, the ten of wands, fire, tells you working too hard, too many hours, the need to balance. There it goes. Biggest day. Your life. You can't make this shit up. I just. It's a lot of cards, honey. I ain't got time for this shit. All right? You got to balance your life. Let others help you. Your health problem due to tr stress. So if you don't, if, if you got so much that you're doing in your life, or you don't know what to do with what you need to do, get some help so that you know which way to go. And get some help so that everything will come together. Because, see, some people have ideas or some people are already doing stuff, but they don't know how to complete whatever they're going to do, all right, or which way they're going to go with it, right? So, you have to learn to complete what you're doing and how you're doing it. You got that? And that's what you need to do. And if you need help doing it, then you need to get it. Because the best thing to do is move away from something that is not for you. And then coming into your own can be scary. Doing all the work you're doing for yourself, it's a lot of work. And sometimes you need help from others. Okay, you need somebody to step in and say, let me help you. Okay, even though you don't want it, you're going to need it. Um, where you are focusing your precious energy right now, where are you focusing on? What are you doing? Maybe you're being overwhelmed or overdoing it in the social life or being, or maybe you sitting there watching too much TV. Maybe you, um, eating too much, overspending Focusing on a relationship that is that is not um, that is um, that is not good for you. Okay, it's not giving you what you want. All right. Um, instead of you doing what you need to do for yourself, you're sitting there watching TV, having glasses of wine, eating too much, spending too much. Being with somebody that ain't even worth your fucking time. Um, it's like you are materialistic um, versus your spiritual world. <coughs> and this is where you, <coughs> where, where you are. And study focusing on your spiritual world, your spiritual being. You're working on the material world. All of this crazy shit that doesn't really amount to shit, right? Because you need to remove the old chip in your head and place a new chip, all right? Uh, I tell people this all the time, okay? Uh, but let me finish this with you. Um, 
Stay away from all or nothing, okay? Um, the choose to clean your mind. If I feel like you, it's like you're in the midst of fall. It's like you don't know what you really want, what you how to do it. It's like you're like you kind of confused, because look at this. You did all that work, but now you're confused, you're tired, you, you don't know what to damn do anymore. Like you, it's like you're not, it's not like you're aligning yourself. You need to align who you are. You need to be, you know, elevate yourself um, into this beautiful balance that you can have. But it's like, I'm going to tell you something right now. It's like, sometimes you get into so, your world. Some people right here where I live at, live right next to the beach. They've been here all their life and they don't even go to the beach. And you know what they told me? They said to me, I'm all I do is go to work and come home. They don't even know the damn beach is there. And they walk by this beach every fucking day. They don't even know how to take time out for themselves. How to take in. You ever been to the beach with somebody <clears throat> or once upon a time, you go to the beach, you run in the water because that's the first thing you think about is running in the water. But then you go the next time and you older and you like taking in. You're sitting down and enjoying the view of the water, right? You put in too much time into everything in your life and you have never really looked at yourself and your worth for what you really are worthy of. It's, it's like you cluttered in your head for everything that doesn't fucking matter. And I keep telling y'all, if you die today, damn it, what the fuck are you going to take? Can you please tell me what you're going to take? All the worries that you got right now, what the fuck are you going to take? You know what I learned? Just what I learned. I learned, and I learned this real quick. And I'm talking about like now, okay? I learned this shit. Why the fuck am I going to uh, keep doing this and that and that and this, right? In my property. Oh, you want my property? When I die, then go ahead and start putting shit on there what you want. And I mean that fucking shit. I ain't playing. Um, Okay, I want a pool. I'm going to ask that person to pay for the pool. You think I fucking ain't? I swear I am. Um, I want a jacuzzi. I'm going to ask for a jacuzzi. They're going to pay for it because I'm going to enjoy everything that I'm going to put on my property because you're going to pay for it because that's what you're going to get when I die. So I might as well ask you for everything I want you to put on my fucking shit. You think I ain't? I'm fucking out. And I'm going to just travel the world and live my life the way I'm supposed to live. Yes, I am. I'm going to do it because at the end of the day, when I die, ain't none of this shit going to be mine. no damn way. So, everybody worries about one particular thing. And whatever it is, that one particular thing that you are worried about so much. Just look at that one particular thing in your life. Some of y'all don't. Some of y'all live in apartments or whatever. But what is that one particular thing in your life that you worry about the most? If I ask y'all what is the one particular thing that's in your mind, you'll say, all oh, my kids, or oh, um, my this and that. Ain't nobody said my health. My no, you worried about your damn kids, your grandkids, their fucking problems, all of this crazy shit. How you gonna pay this and that when you got that one particular place thing that plays in your head all the time that is drowning you? With the worries and how you going to pay this and how you going to live off of this and all of this. Why don't you put that one thing in front of you and say, 
you know what, I'm going to do something about this and I'm going to live my fucking life and not be afraid to do and take the challenge because it's going to pay off. Okay? And that's what it is. Your mind, you, computer, it's like you put all of this in your head in that chip. And that same chip has been there forever. Okay? You remember back then you went to school, right? In school, they taught you how to say the flag salute, damn it. That's what you learn in school. They taught you how to have respect. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, all that, right? When you was in school, it was different than going to school today, right? They taught you. The way that the world is today, <clears throat> It's all about politics and government, how they want you to live your life. And that's exactly how they got you. All fucking here. And it ain't nothing good. So it's like fights, chaos, wars, everything, environment. It ain't nothing good going on around you. Nothing. Because everything that was good, they done took over and demolished your brain. Our brains is going with all the negative things they are feeding us and it's around us 24 fucking 7. Chaos everywhere. Right? Why don't you take that chip out? Take it out of your head and put in the clean chip and work on that. Because girl, Pisces, I'm talking about girl, man, whatever. When you look at that new chip and you know where you are at in your life and which way you going. After after everything you've been through, the, the a relationship, the marriage, <clears throat> the divorce, the having kids, to not knowing your, your way to starting over from a divorce, from a marriage, from a from a breakup. From the same shit, the same cycle, over and over and over and over and over and over, <clears throat> to leaving that situation, okay, stuck in your head that you still don't know what the fuck you're doing. You still, and sitting there pissed off about shit that happened 50 million years ago. Pissed off about shit that happened yesterday. Pissed off about shit that you can't get over. <clears throat> Worrying your ass off. Working so fucking hard. Eating a lot. Drinking a lot. Partying a lot. Spending a lot. Don't know which way your life is going. Because you are consumed with too much bullshit. Okay? And can't see through nothing. Because that's where you are at. Your brain. Your mind. Your thoughts are taking over your whole fucking body. And let me tell you something, and this ain't no lie. When you get yourself to that point, okay, then you start having cancer, okay? You start having high uh, sugar diabetes, okay? You start having shit in your life that you did not ask for. But guess what? That comes from all the shit you stress yourself out about. You don't eat right. You don't take care of yourself. You're just killing your damn self. That's what happens when you live like you live. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? See, I don't play no games when I do these my readings. I'm not here. If you want to hear about all the bullshit... Go on to the mother readers. I'm telling you fucking life. I'm telling you where you are at. I'm telling that you, you killing your damn self. With every fucking thing that don't mean shit. You go to the doctors. They tell you you fucking got all kinds of shit going on. They pop pills in your fucking mouth. Because then you are on your way to self-destruction and death. Because that's what you're doing to yourself. Do you understand? How life is and how precious it can be. If you just believe in you. And only you. 
That's not being selfish. That's knowing you, accepting you for who you are. That's what it means. Okay? Now, what you don't see that's coming to you is the Eight of Cups. Right? The need Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The, the need to move on. I keep telling y'all this. Honey, I don't need to pick up no cards. I give you a reading without this. The need to move on. Seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. I've been, I haven't, this is what I've been telling you through this whole reading. A spiritual awakening. Okay. Choosing to make a bigger life change. And that's what I'm begging you to do. Right. A change in how you live. And what it means to be first. Leaving your home. There ain't no more room there for you. So you're leaving. But you're scratching your head. And you know you've been loyal here. It's alright to leave. What no longer serves you. It's alright to. Feel free. And live your life in your purpose. And that's what it means. Do you know the richest people in the world? The richest people in the world are the people that are homeless. Because they are free. They don't have no walls around them. They living in the world. You see them with bags. Just with, you don't see them with. Living room, dining room, kitchen, bathroom. No, they don't live like that. Okay? And the people that got everything, that houses and all of that, and all the money are the most miserable people in the world. The most people that got all the problems. Okay? The more money you got, the more problems you got. The more money you got, the more you want to have. It's crazy. All right? Now, check it out. So you leave in a situation that no longer is serving you. Okay? Seeking for more within yourself. You're experiencing you. You're experiencing your world. This world that you never even know. <clears throat> because you never even known this person because you never tried to know yourself. Right? That's what it's telling you. Right? Now, you go into the Eight of Pentacles, learning all you can about a subject or a career. Going back to school or taking a semester or finding a mentor to talk to you, to lead you into the right direction. Okay? Um, attend to all the details as they explain it to you. As it says on the ingredients, okay, as it tells you how to work your tools. I'm surprised you didn't get the, the, um, I'm surprised that you didn't get the, uh, what the musician, it would have really did it all. Um, do something that you love to do and everything is going to work out for you. It's almost like you're coming into your own. It's like you walk by a window. And all you see is stores. And all of these windows are retail stores, right? But you walk and buy it. And then you say, you know what? I want this one. And that's you. That's really who you are. Inside of that is you. It's you. Your life, who you are. And then you walk in there and you decide what is going to be where. And that's how you live in your new life. You got to decide what you're bringing into that new store. What are you selling? What are you going to be creating? 
Who are you? What are you looking for? What do you want to do? If you're in school, if you got a new job, pay attention to every detail that they're teaching you, that they're telling you how to do your job. If you start your own business, pay attention to how you want things to be, okay? What you're selling more is what you're going to start building around. So if you sell more salts, bath, then build your business around more salt baths so because that's what people are coming in to see. They're not coming to see um, jewelry. They're coming to see your salt. They're coming to see your candles. They, it's, it's trying to literally tell you how to mold this store, what this store is all about. Okay, it's like molding in your life to be who you are. You don't even have to have, um, remember this new store is you. You're purchasing yourself. And when you purchase yourself, what do you want to create in that? Do you want to rent out your house and get an apartment and live your life better because you're finally letting go of what was weighing on your back? And it's just you. It's just like me. And this is a so perfect example of how I live here and how I live in Cancun. How I live here, I can come in this house and find everything I want because it's my home. Okay? And when I go to Cancun, I go to fix something. Oh, I don't have that, but I have it home. Or I don't have this, but I have it home. Do you understand? It makes me value more and more home because home is home to me. All right. Cancun is a place where I can go and get away and have fun or take someone there. And all they got to do is pay their flight and have a good time. So we both are having a good time because that's not my home. And that is, you know, a place for me to come and stay when I want. And I try to make it as homey as I can because when I go there, I want to feel like I'm in my own place, which I am. But it ain't like home to me. Okay? So you got to build what you want. And you got to pay details, close details to everything you want in your life. Because remember, you're opening a whole new world and it's you living in this world. It's not, it don't matter about anyone else or anything else. It matters about what you're going to bring into your new life. And what you're leaving behind is behind. And what you're bringing on is new. And it's what, what do you want to change your life? How are you going to live this new life? What are, what are the changes? It's a change that you got to make. That you are afraid to make. Because the unknown is what's scary. That's the unknown. Um, when I was sitting at the beach yesterday, I met this lady. And she told me, she said, you know what's crazy? I'm afraid to go in the water past some part of her body. She said, because I'm afraid that when I go, the, 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 it's like the ground will drop. And then I'm deep and I don't have nobody to help me. And I said, but how can that be? She said, oh, it can be or, or a shark. And it's in your fucking head. So that is stopping you from enjoying the, the ocean the way you're supposed to enjoy it. Do you understand? And I say this all the time. If you had a party and it's your party. It's your party. It's, say it's your birthday. And you invite Teresa. Teresa brought somebody to your party that you don't even fuck with. All right? You invite John. And John says, I don't like nobody in her party. And then you invite Jackie. And Jackie said, I don't eat this because I'm a um, vegan. And everything I meet in it or meet around it. And I don't know if she cook would use anything that got meat. All right. All right. So, but it's your party. So now 
you look at this person here and this person like, hey, and And you look at this person like, is this person crazy here? But there's so many people in your party that you're not even playing these three people, really. No matter, because there's a lot of other people. But these three people keep coming to you. Tell my son. So how you doing? This person's coming with the girl you don't even talk to, or the guy, whatever. How you doing? And then she looking at you like, but enjoy, you're like, all right, when I see this little nigga next time, I'm letting her know what the fuck he bought this person here for. What made him do that? All right? So you're looking at this person here that don't like nobody at your party. And all he's doing is complaining. Oh, uh, well, you know, I don't know why. Just look at her. Look, And you're like, why did you even come to my party? You shouldn't even came, right? If you don't like nobody at my party. That's what you're saying, you tell this person, why did you bring that girl to my party? That's crazy. But anyway, so you tell the person over here that don't like the food because she's vegan. So what you come to your mind is why these people even showed up at the party with all of their chaos. Right? And it's your damn party. It's not their party. It's not for them to put it the way they want it. It's your damn party. So what I'm trying to tell you is leave everybody in the back. Leave them so far away from you that you don't even see none of these people's problems. And you don't even think about anything because the problem is, Pisces, I'm going to keep telling y'all this. Your life is consumed about everything that is happening to you. Many years ago, even up to yesterday, that you're going to start thinking about what yesterday happened and I didn't like, and it's going to consume for today, the next day, the next day, six months, because you can't get over what the fuck is happening. They happened. They don't mean shit. It already fucking happened. Let it go and move on. Your mind is so consumed with so much bullshit that you can't see the blessings because you don't want to see it. And that's the that's what I'm trying to tell you. Please let it go. All right? Because your reading shows a lot of everything from what you went through, your marriage, what you went through with people you had kids by, with all the cheating and you know, deception to you're working hard and working too much, um, to not balancing your life, but just doing and doing and doing. And then you're walking away from what no longer deserves you, but you're still saying, damn, should I did that? Let it fucking go. How are you going to put your house up for rent? And then five minutes later saying, I shouldn't have did that because you weren't about if they put a hole on the wall, if they destroy the carpet, if the paint fall off. Baby, either you do or you don't. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gotta make up your mind. All right, and let it go. Because once you learn to let it go, you 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 gain it from it. Whether whether you walk it away, whatever it is. You're going to gain from it, whether you're going to be in a new career, opening a new store, put up a new hobby, making money from that house you just put up for rent. You're going to gain from it. And that's what you need to know. You're going to gain, but you can't gain if you're not willing to completely let go. You got that? And that's what it's telling you. If you're not willing to completely let go of everything, of how your mind is working, all the things that you feel that's not right, then you will never grow. Because you're going to always be stuck in the past, in what yesterday was, and not what, what today can bring. Okay? Okay? All right, let's move on from this. 
I hope you're understanding. All right. Again, it shows a home here right under this situation. It's about a home. It's about family. It's about a relationship. It's about, remember, balance and working too hard or doing too much. You can build, but the thing is, or do you really want to build? Are you ready to let go of something? Are you ready to move on from something? And something can be, I'm telling you, a million things in one because that's what's in your head, a million things in one. You keep saying, I don't care, I don't give a fuck, but you do care. Crazy shit. Look at that. A snake. You must let go of everything that is in your past because if you don't, that snake is always ready to bite your ass every time and be sneaky and come at you all the time because you're not letting shit be. You got to let it go. When you got snakes around you, that's bad, all right? Snakes are bad, all right? And that snake look like, look, look, I got this tongue out. Ready to charge at your ass. All right? And it's something about, it's, it's a business in your house. It's something got to do with, and look, you are all in your fucking head about everything that's going wrong. Uh, who's trying to be sneaky? Who's trying to be conniving? Who's being de uh, deception? Who, everything. <clears throat> But look at you. You want to think of roses. But somebody here is definitely, definitely, definitely trying to move towards you. And it's because it's in your head. All right? Leave, with, leave that shit alone. If these motherfuckers ain't serving you, leave them alone, honey. Who gives a fuck how they live and who they fucking, who they ain't fucking and who they see? You can't eat you can't be two places at one time. You can't <coughs> you cannot see things. Okay, it's like if you leave this person this home, you can turn out to have your castle, right? Whatever is what all of this sneaky and conniving and bullshit going on in your life, people doing shit, devious shit, you can have it all because you don't have to always get into what somebody wants you. It's like you can't stop thinking about all the negative shit that took place, all right? But because you're not balancing your life. It's like you stuck in whatever you ain't getting or you're not making enough money or <clears throat> you just don't feel like you gaining anything or you got a home and you know, you're, you're just living off of what you can. All right. It, it's something about a baby here. It's something about finally reaching your destination okay so it might have kids involved um somebody you thinking about is real sneaky conniving someone it might be a baby involved here because it got a baby now if you old and like me and it or, or maybe somebody got a baby that you Maybe somebody got a baby being sneaky and not talking about it. Or maybe it's a new birth. Moving on. A baby means birth, honey. It means a new life. <clears throat> um, But this child looks, it don't look like a brand new baby to me. It looked like a baby, like already big. Like already like six months. All right, so I don't know, maybe six months or something, something with six months. Or um, they got the number 13 on there and they got a junior, so it's a boy. 
um, 13 years old, a junior, or maybe something with a baby, uh, 13 years old, a uh, son. I feel like whatever it is, it's like you're sh you bringing it down. You settle with this. Or, I don't know. Something here. And <clears throat> something about deception in a home. About a baby. Something about um, moving on. Um, moving on from this. Living a good life. Knowing where you are at finally. I don't know, but it got a baby. Something about a baby. And I don't know. If a baby's not in your life, then it ain't for you. You know, I don't know. Somebody over here is sick. Very sick. And this is the past. Sitting there sick. Um, About something, I don't know, something in the house that um, you went through a lot with this person. Um, this person, you were sick over everything that happened to you, but. You was in love with this person at once upon a time. Tell me more about what I need to know. Tell me about right now. What about this snake and this woman looking at this rose? Tell me about this snake. And it, and it shows a queen. So it's two ladies here. I don't know. Maybe this person had two ladies involved. All right. Um, but you needed to balance something about your career. Something about you. Had to go out and get a job after everything you went through with this person. Um, now, all of these cards came out. I don't know, but this, this same kind of card came out yesterday. Something about a church. You're going to the church, something. Somebody in this church, something about a snake. Something crossed you. Something was a deception here. Um, somebody's really deep in their thoughts. The person that you walked away from or whatever it was that you went through with, that person can't stop thinking about you. So it's crazy because at one time you were sick over this person. You were so in love with this person. But now I feel like this person is, the, it's like you, he's wearing your shoes now. I feel like something about, Somebody is about two women here, about balancing your money and your time, all right, working too hard, but somebody here is really going to church, really going into their beliefs, <clears throat> something about a belief, something about um, being deep in your thoughts. It may be about somebody's um, religion, but somebody here is truly in love with you. And it is somebody that you walked away from, from a lot of chaos. Damn. Hmm. Tell me more about what is in to come with this baby and this walking away, money. Okay, skills that with your new job. I feel like you're walking away, you're coming into yourself, into your money. Somebody wants to help you. Something about a baby. Somebody maybe wants everything with you. Somebody is settling down, just settling down with somebody. Maybe this baby, this person had a baby on you, and now you're, I don't know, something about a 13-year-old child is a junior. Settle, walking away from someone, um, uh, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you expected from them, a spiritual awakening, choosing to make a bigger change in life, okay, leaving your home, somebody left their home, um, then moving into learning, probably move somewhere, got a new job, or going back to school, or starting a new career. Is something that you moved away from home, moved away. Uh, maybe you moved as a boat here. Maybe you moved 
away, maybe it's overseas, over water, maybe you move to like near water, uh, beach, uh, something, okay, because I see a bow here, <clears throat> um, but you decide to make that your home now, or maybe you took a trip near water, something is a move here, but then is this baby showed up before this move, so it's something about a baby, 13-year-old or junior, or a baby can represent a new life, okay, giving birth to something new, all right, um, what the hell this come up with, oh shit, justice, so maybe you're going to court for this baby, and you move him after you you fight this battle. It's something about kids, battle, move. I don't know, because I don't have that problem. Um, Sweetheart. I, I don't know. It's, it's something here about, about you leaving a situation. This person cannot stop thinking about you. Got the books in his hands, holding his heart. Something about divorce, about kids, divorce, money, you moving, you moved away from this person. It's, I don't know, it's, it's justice here. Somebody going to court, somebody going to court now. Maybe somebody fighting a court battle with their kids. Hope, look at this shit. Look at this shit here. Hope, and look at this. Is this crazy? Wow. And she's throwing in okay, okay, okay. So you're fighting a battle in court. Somebody's going to court. All right. Somebody is walk left their home, walking out of their house, leaving everything behind. <clears throat> Moved on. Okay, started new jobs, went back to school. Somebody here has a wonderful life here, all right? But somebody is offering you help, but it seems like you're doing everything on your damn own. You ain't even looking at this person anymore. Like you done, now this person want to come back and give you everything. But I feel like it was a court case about maybe child support, maybe a breakup, maybe a divorce. All right, but for some reason, I feel like you, even though you got divorced and all, you is something still in your heart that even though you would never go back with this person ever, ever again, okay, ever again, ever again, is you still got feelings in your heart for this person. Ooh, this is crazy. I guess that's what love is, you know. Um, Pisces, if you need a private reading from me, get it from me or someone else, all right? And I apologize for yesterday. I love you. Let me, oh, okay, let me throw this out. Okay, okay, Spirits are saying they still finished this off. I'm trying to, because it is going a little, pretty late. All right, let me do the lovers, and then let me, because it's Spirits that tell me to finish this. And I was trying to finish it now, but Spirits is telling me, to finish it honeymoon this person you was in love with this person once upon a time it says stay optimistic about your love life it's you sacrificing and you telling God it says change that you giving God for what you are about to receive oh my God all right okay so God is saying everything was not for nothing you get what you want Okay, okay, tell me more. Look at this soulmate. Yes, this this is your soulmate. So whatever it is that you went through, no matter what it is, is there some good's going to come through your way about a situation here. Um, but the spirits won't, they don't want me to stop doing this reading. What is going on? All right, spirits, tell me more. Money, money was involved. A lot of money was involved here. All right, money. This is the problem here. It's about money. A house. 
Money in the house. Oh, God. Someone feel desperate. Somebody, money, house, and a loss of a job. Somebody here is feeling like you're either taking everything from them by them. I feel like maybe you taking this person to court or whoever this person is feel like they got money to give you, but it feels like they don't want to give it to you. It's, it's I don't know, somebody going to court here over child support, divorce, or been waiting to get receive their money from a divorce and have yet got it. It's like they are prolonging this divorce. It's like this divorce is taking a long time to be over with. It says, I miss you more than you think. Oh, God. Somebody is missing you more than you think. Don't forget about me, please. Oh, God. I feel like you don't understand me when I try to speak to you. All right, well, I guess I don't. I don't know. But, honey, this whole reading here, I really don't have. And, you know, usually I'll be telling y'all that ain't me, this is that, that. But I'm in a point right now that I'm lost for words because I don't know what to damn say. Somebody here is going through it. Um, I don't know if it's a, a breakup, a divorce, separation. It's taking y'all forever to get your money through court. I don't know if it's child support. I don't know what y'all going through. But this person is prolonging the court hearing because they don't want to give you your money or something like that. <clears throat> or something about maybe y'all did have a good relationship before y'all even went to court. And now that y'all in court, y'all don't speak. It, it became just a blockage. But I feel like um, also you looking at it like I got my own shit going on. And somebody is reaching out to help you, but you still with everything else you're going. You need to take that old chip out and replace the new chip. And stop being into everything that happened and, and dwelling on this. Because the more you dwell on it, the more you're blocking the new doors from opening up for you. All right? Please, listen to me. I love you. And if you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. You don't have to get it from me. Get it from whoever you want. And if this reading don't apply, then go and get from, go watch the other ones and bury yourself with readings after readings. I don't know what to tell you, honey, but get it while you can, and I'll talk to you later. Remember, this is a general reading. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you, all right? Don't be writing no comments talking about, well, I don't have no babies. I'm not divorced. Well, then, shit, you, you, you're away from somebody that you can't fucking stop thinking about. Stop playing with me, and I'll stop playing with you. I ain't got time. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Love you.